So we are going to put on a super cool monitor for our boy Mick here. Mick is a diabetic and we've been having just a little bit of difficulty getting his insulin and blood glucose readings to be where we want them to be. And it's difficult to do in-house glucose curves and just make sure that we have all the parameters um, the way we want them. So they make these sensors for people that can go on the skin and mom can scan it at home with her iPhone over 14 days so we can get a lot of really good results. So what we've done here is we've shaved a spot where we're gonna put it and we have to clean the area with alcohol. Now admittedly I've already cleaned it a couple times but we're gonna make sure we get the spot nice and clean and then we're gonna let that dry here for 30 seconds um, so all the alcohol is off. We've got our sensor from the human pharmacy and we open our little package and we've got our sensor and our application tool. So we need to line up and click things in. Here's the sensor that goes in with a needle and what we're gonna do is put a little bit of tissue glue on there and apply it onto his skin. Okay, so we've got our sensor here and we're gonna put a little bit of glue around this area to help it stay in place once we put it on mixed skin. Just gotta be careful, we don't wanna to put tons of glue, but we obviously want this thing to stay put. I'm probably being a little extra with the glue, but oh well. So we're gonna put it on mixed skin where we want it to be in our prepped area. And we want to hold it in place for about 30 seconds to make sure that everything stayed on there as nicely as it should. Um, we've admittedly watched some other videos of people doing this before because this is our first time. And they did say that sometimes uh, it doesn't want to come out of the sensor properly, so you might need to use a hemostat, so we'll see how it works. We have our hemostat on the ready. Uh, but we'll want to leave this sit here for just another 10 seconds or so to make sure everything looks good. These sensors are not going to be accurate for about the first 12 hours. So we're putting it on today. We're, I told mom she could take some measurements tonight just to see how it goes, but that we're not really going to start using it from a measurement standpoint for another um, till tomorrow. So. Actually, it came out pretty nicely. So there's Nick's little sensor. So we're gonna put a little t-shirt on him and then mom can use her iPhone um, to wand it and we'll get some great readings.